So when we travel, we like to seek out the thrift stores and go to those. So this is a Goodwill in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. The Presley girls are gonna... Listen here, this is what's gonna happen. Katie, Corey, and Mama are gonna come in to a Goodwill in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. I'm wearing Donna Madlock's flannel shirt that she gave me. Thank you, Donna. We're gonna go in here, and you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna pop some tags. Oh! Uh <laughs> <laughs> Comment yeah, below you if you think know. I was up on the up and up, but I am. I remember when that came out. All right, this is exciting. Goodwill, go. Kentucky. Here we go. Some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. Y'all, this is not good weather to go to a Goodwill. Uh, this section right here is totally. Uh, where we need to be right now, considering it's snowing outside. What are you looking for in this thrift store? Anything. These shoes. <laughs> Those shoes right there. I think this is going to be too big for me, but these are my colors, y'all. Yeah, I like that thing too, but it's petite, so I ain't going to fit you. Cute. Look, y'all. Look at that mountain out there. Also, this is my friend Susie. Susie, what do you have to say for yourself? Nothing? Whatever then, you're not gonna be in this video if you keep that up. Did you hear what she said to me? I did. No. I'm gonna have to go there and smack her upside her head in a minute. How dare her. Okay, I think this is for Katie, y'all. Ooh, yeah, that's not gonna fit Katie, but it looks good. It's gonna be too small for Katie. But that's about something like I would wear. All about that vintage, y'all. <laughs> so this is like apparently the thrift store for me because they have tons of small stuff and i can usually never find this. stuff like anywhere i go i'm shopping for Corey, y'all i'm not gonna get any of this isn't that cute i can't get in any of it what i'm trying to say but that's really it's cute. really cute oh, it's so cute in that not this but i think that's really cute it's gonna be darling yeah Corey. That's nice, thank you, bud. Yep. Like it. I found these shirts. One of them is a cardigan. Okay, comment below if you think that I should get this like silk purple shirt here. No, I think you need this. This says flannel but dressy. Flannel but dressy, y'all. That's funny. That's really funny. It's pretty cute. I don't think I'm gonna get it. I don't think I have any where to wear it, but I like it. I appreciate it. It's pretty cute. I appreciate that. I like that. Suede shirt. Yeah, actually, it's 100% polyester made to look like suede. Wow. <laughs> Y'all, that's sick. That's like being in vintage. Really now you like gotta it. show them the velvet one I found for you. Ah, this is made to look new. This isn't. This is new. This isn't vintage, but I'm gonna wear it because I like velvet. I remember the 90s, y'all. Crushed velvet. That's right. Oh, yeah. I like this. I need it. I need more polyester. What do you think? I really appreciate it, but I don't think I'll find myself wearing it. I need some pattern. I need less of that. It's cute, though. Vest is cute, too. Y'all, there's some really funny stuff in here. There's some super funny stuff. This is like the nicest Goodwill ever. I love Goodwills. This one's just really nice. There's you some more pink. Look at that. That's cute. I told Katie that the print of this shirt that I loved it, that she should try it on, and then she's like, maybe from the go if you're from the Golden Girls. I said, yeah, that's the point. I, like I don't think it. it looks like Golden Girls, so it's just pretty. I'm glad someone will be trying it on. Okay, in the dressing room, I'm just kind of eh about this, but Katie looks super cute in this. Look like I stepped out of the 80s. This yeah. is not 70s, this is 80s. Look at the shoulder. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's really cute. It's pretty cute. I don't know, though, will you wear it? Will I wear blue? This is cute, but like I never wear blue. I won't wear this. I know I won't. I think it's really cute, but I won't wear it. I know I won't. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, what do you think? Total blast from the past. That's cute. I like the one I'm wearing too. You could wear a tank top under this or you could probably just button it completely up and wear it. I think that's cute. 
I like this. I would like to so wear this. I love this. I think these will go. Mm -hmm. What does this say? Elk. What's my thing say? It says Elkhorn Elks. Okay. Who is Elkhorn Elks? Um, comment below if you know who the crap is. That Elkhorn Kentucky Elk thing? Is. Could be. These are cute though. More polyester. Dude, I don't know what I think about it. I don't know. It's like I like it, but the whole <laughs> tunic. It's, thing. The material is great, but like the style of these, where they make them, because they're not fitted. There's nothing like taken in right here. It kind of is like wearing a sack. I think but it's also I, cute. It is cute. I think what I would do with it is I would wear it over leggings or something. Yeah. I'm not going to wear it over blue jeans. It's cute. cute. I don't know what I think about it, but I still like it. I like touching it because it's all velvet. <laughs> All right, let me know if you've seen any Levi's, because that's what I wear. I found some Levi's to try on. There's it's some like American Eagles. Wear. Those are no, nice. Katie says no to the American Eagles. I'll wear Lee's, but I'll mostly wear Levi's. It's like all I'll wear. Okay, it's like I'm all that fits me. To look at the dresses. Those are Lee's. Those are nice. Those might fit. I'm going to try. Okay, y'all. This is going to be the perfect Christmas dress, right? Even has the Christmas ornaments right on it. <laughs> this is the amount of pants that Katie has. Y'all, I'm taking it serious. I have two pairs of pants that I wear mostly and I've worn out. So I really need some more pants. <laughs> yeah. Of course, got to look at the books. It was doing nothing until it was time for us to come out and Ooh, the wind brutal. is whipping and it's just like rainy, sleety, snowy oh, mix. Before we run out there, I need to take a picture. Are you, are you, are you wearing sunglasses? Yeah, it's gonna keep that stuff out of my eyes. pretty successful we found a lot of clothes uh, this Goodwill in Prestonsburg Kentucky definitely has our stamp of approval if you're in Prestonsburg Kentucky and you haven't been to this Goodwill you need to come to this Goodwill or if you're traveling we're gonna get our stuff back and then we'll show you what we got we are back from the thrift store I'm gonna show you what I decided to get and then I will turn the camera around and let Katie show you what she decided to get so I got this little card again it's really cute, cute. I picked that up. <laughs> Thank you. This is just a regular black long sleeve, but it's gap. It's just a nice long sleeve to have. This is a pair of Levi pants that fit really well, so I definitely got them. This is a long sleeve shirt, very similar to one that I have. This is a long sleeve shirt that I do have. I have one identical to this, and I love it, and I found this one, so I bought it. This kind of looks a lot like the one that you're wearing, except the oh, one yeah. that you're wearing is gray stripes instead of tan stripes. True. This was just a really cute skirt, and it fit pretty good, so. That is really cute. Ended up getting it. This shirt still has the tags on it somewhere. It just kind of looks retro, so I liked it. Uh, brown, my favorite color, can you guess? This is a really nice Lane's in long sleeve. So I got it. Oops, I think I just knocked some on the floor, my bad. This is just a really nice... Uh, That's Banana thick. Republic. Yeah, and it's really thick. It's really mm. nice. And then I did have to get the sweatshirt that says Elkhorn Elks. I got... Come close. You'll have to come close to see these. You may be like, Corey, what are these and why did you get them? They're mini garden chairs. Donna Madlock. Yes, but I got these because I'm going to learn how to make a fairy garden. As silly as that sounds, but when we were on our hike with our friends, 
we saw so many like just pretty moss and rocks and like all this kind of stuff and i'm gonna somehow use all that and make like a little fairy garden just for the fun of it so, so when i saw these i was like oh yeah because if you go on etsy and look up like fairy garden accessories it's beautiful i'm not saying it's not worth the money but i'm like i can't pay 50 bucks for a little ceramic elf <laughs> oh no so what i'm asking you is will the fairy garden go outside will it go inside yeah. will it be at, like all glued down on a little board explain to us i don't understand what yeah, you're saying uh, well so there's different ways to make little fairy gardens you could have it on some kind of board or some kind of something like that like backed kind of thing or you could have it inside or you can have it outside and I'm gonna try to make it outside, but I will most definitely have to make it on the side of the yard that does not have the fence because Olive would chew it to pieces. Yeah, she totally tear it up. So now let's look at what Katie decided to buy. Tweed vest. Necessary? I don't know, but I really like it. That's cute. I like it. This, it's, um, I don't know, I can't read that. <laughs> I don't know what that says. I got some blue jeans. These are New York and Company. Got some blue jeans. I like those. Um, I got a lot of blue jeans. I'm gonna just put these down here for now. I did. I got a lot of blue jeans. These were actually super fun. These are capris and they're uh, Lee's. Lee and Levi is pretty much all I wear. It's pretty much all that fits me really good. So I really liked these. I was like, it is worth the trip to Kentucky just for Katie to have some capris because I had some capris. The last time I had any capris that I liked and they fit well was when I was in college and I was walking and I had some books in my hands and on the plaza there they had some brick, some decorative brick and some of it was like an open base brick and so it stuck up about that much and I tripped and when I fell, I fell pretty hard and I dropped everything that was in my hands and I put my hands out because my face was coming pretty close to the ground and it cut the palm of my hands and it split the knee in my capris. My knee was bleeding and there was a hole in my pants. So I haven't had Capri since college. <laughs> so I was really excited about that. Here is two more pairs of pants. I don't, the boot is what these are called, the back. And then these are Banana Republic. So these look pretty good. I like, I won't lie, I like dark jeans. The ones I'm wearing are light, but I like dark jeans. This is probably what I am. She did decide to get that, y'all. The most excited about. This is just so cute. This is like 80s, 80s. It's got shoulder pads. I love it. It says, um, country sophisticates. Sophisticates? 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 Pendleton, Portland, Oregon. Hmm. I really like that. Um, here is some more yeah. polyester. She did have to this get that Jack one, too. Jack Winter. I love this. It's really nice. It's got a pretty print. Yeah, it really does. It's like a paisley. Kind yeah. of like a paisley. I really like it. Had to get it. Um... Let's see, there's another pair of pants. These are Levi's. So the thing with me and pants is, is I just have to buy them when I can find them because I wear them out because I only want to wear the same pair of pants every day because they become my favorite. So I got this. This is like, oh yeah, like what I'm like super excited about. This is like 90s all over crushed velvet. It's actually really cute. That is so cute. And I got um, this tank top. It's really nice. That was also really cute. I don't know if it says anything. That was Gap. A lot of my stuff was Gap. Gap is one of my favorite brands, but it's expensive, so I really never yeah. ever buy it unless it's just at a thrift store. Gap and Ann Taylor and Levi's, like what I like to yeah. wear. This is another like old, which this, you, you'd be like, dude, that's ridiculous. What are you going to do? But I put it on it, it was pretty cute, so I yeah. think I can get away with it. I have a shirt just like this, and I feel like I don't wear it, so I don't know why I got this, but I really it like it. It looks so good on you. This is one of my favorite colors. This is like a... Like a mustard almost, but it's also but, got like some kind of olive in there, yeah, too. Yeah, I like it. This is Old Navy. I also yeah. like Old Navy. I thought it was cute, and I like the buttons, so I was like, well, I'll probably wear it. And then, last but not least, I really am a big um, cardigan person, so I got um, this cardigan trying to get it there we go nice i like that so we got a lot i feel like i got a lot i got a lot of blue jeans because like i said i mean it's so incredibly hard to find blue jeans that are comfortable and that fit well so what i'll do is i go to a thrift shop and somebody else has already wore them in and you have more of a variety as far as styles because what will happen with companies is they'll make a style for a little while not long maybe a year 
two maybe and you never see it again you never see it again and that's the style you like so if you want a more of a variety of styles sometimes a thrift shop is the place you have to go for different cuts and shapes for blue jeans but anyway i like it i like the crushed velvet if i had to say what was my favorite it's probably that crushed velvet corey what would you say is your favorite oh that's a good question i think my favorite thing might have been that skirt i just think that skirt is really cute that's the nicest Goodwill I have ever been in. It was so clean and like so well stocked and all the brands were like really nice expensive brands. We love Goodwills. I've been in so, we both have been in so many Goodwills and sometimes it's just like maybe they're not that clean, not that well organized and you really just can't find what you're looking for. But this one was like superb. Yeah, sometimes it's hit or miss, but this was a really, um, a really good Goodwill. I feel like there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Yeah, there really was. And growing up, we went to thrift stores all the time. I mean, that was the main place where we got our clothes, and it is now because I can't, we can't afford to go to a department store and pay like 80 bucks for a shirt or a sweatshirt or whatever. It's just too no, much. No, I can't do that, and not with what I'm going to do to it. I mean, I'm a working woman, so it's going to get nasty. It's going to, I'm going to use it. It's going to get worn out, you know. So I think for me, it makes sense to, to thrift shop. Plus, I hate wearing in pants, so somebody else already wore them in. Yes. <laughs> Okay, we had to come over here because my arm is super weak and I can only hold this phone for like 20 seconds at a time before I have to put it down. So everything that you've seen that I got, like six shirts and a pair of pants and a cardigan and a sweatshirt and a skirt, that was all like 35 bucks. So that's pretty crazy. Yeah, and I got everything I got for like 80 bucks and that's crazy because those pants, Levi's, Lee's, Banana Republic, New York and Company, there was like seven pairs of pants. And then all those shirts, it's all nice stuff. I like that polyester. You find one of those polyester shirts like that on eBay and you pay like 30 bucks I know. for one of them. So I think it was great. I feel good about it. Um, I had a lot of fun. And oh yeah, and it's also, if you wanna look at it from an environmental standpoint, it's being green. You're just buying clothes that are already out there. Yeah, it is kind of like recycling. So and then what's gonna happen is, is when I wear some of that stuff out, those pants, they're gonna turn into shorts. Yeah. And then when I wear that out, I'll probably cut them up and use them as rags, stuff and like that. I also found out recently one of our local thrift stores at home, and I guarantee you if you do a Google search, I'm sure there's places where they do this, but that you can bring in your old clothes, even if they have tears or stains, there goes a boat, or anything like that, they will recycle them. Like they put them in this machine and press them down, and then they send them, I don't know where they send them, somewhere, and they get made into other things. So. That's cool. I know, I was like, I had no idea, and especially now knowing that we have a place locally to do that, I'll definitely be doing that. But this has been a super fun day. It was such a nice Goodwill. We hope that you enjoyed getting to see this video. Comment and let us know what you like to look for at thrift stores and, and if you go to thrift stores and what you think. And uh, is that all? I think that's all. I feel, feel like I had a really good time. I was like, I haven't had this much fun in a long time, and I haven't went to a thrift shop in so long and felt like, Oh, I just want to try everything on. I can't try everything on. It was really, um, it was a big, it was big. I feel like it was big and there's a lot of stuff in there. So if you're ever in Prestonsburg, you need to do that. Um, head on up here to, what's it, Jenny Wiley? Where Jenny we're Wiley State Park, where yeah. we're at. Yeah. It's really pretty. It's cool. Um, they have a really good club sandwich that I had for dinner and for lunch because I'm a creature of habit. Had a lot of fun. Hit the Goodwill in Prestonsburg. You won't be sorry. God bless you and we'll catch you at the next video.